I've been asked a bunch of times since I first showed you how to implement smoothing of line renders using Bezier, 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 something like that at least. How do you generate a collider for this line render? In this video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how you do that. And in the GitHub repository, that's gonna be linked in the description. You can check out how do you also smooth this line without doing it in the editor, which I did not cover in that last video. Hey, Chris here from Mom Academy, here to help you. Yes, you. Make your game dev dreams become a reality. All right, so this one is really not as complicated as it seems like it might be. It's really simple since Unity 2018 to generate a collider for your line renderer. For those of you that are just looking for that quick answer, what we do is bake the mesh for our line renderer, generate a mesh collider for our line renderer game object, and then set that shared mesh of the mesh collider to be that baked mesh. For those of you that want a little bit more explanation, we're gonna hop into that code right now. All right, so the scene, if you watched that previous video, should look really familiar. We just have a simple line renderer here, along with our line render smoother script. There's a few small changes here from what we did before, but I don't wanna to go too much into how to do the line smoothing. That's in another video, link in the description, card on the screen. If we just hop into play mode, you'll see that I have two buttons, one that will smooth the line, and one that will generate a collider for that line. You'll notice when I click Generate Collider, we get a mesh collider. It has a mesh without a name because it's not a saved asset. And if we check out the scene view, I disable the curves and maybe also the line render so we can see the colliders a little bit easier. We'll see that we do have a mesh collider that follows that line exactly. We'll look at the code in just one second. The other thing I wanna quickly take a look at is how do we simplify this mesh because maybe on the line render smoother, use a really large number of smoothing sections. At the top of the line render, there's something called Scene Tools Tolerance, and then there's a button for Simplify. So if you click that, it will automatically reduce the number of points on your line render that are too close to each other. This is also exposed in code where you can do line render simplify and just pass in that tolerance. If we open up that line render smoother in Visual Studio, we'll see that we have the on GUI function, which is just how we draw with the IM GUI UI system. And in there, I'm drawing two buttons, one that has that smooth line and one for the generate collider. Let's take a look at how do we implement the generate mesh collider. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is check if we already have a mesh collider component. Once we have a reference to that, we'll check if it's null, then we're gonna wanna add that component to this game object with game object .add component mesh collider. And that returns a reference to that newly added component. So we don't have to do git component and again, once we have definitely a reference to a mesh collider, we need to create a mesh to store this line into with mesh, mesh equals new mesh. From there, the line render gives us a way to store a mesh based on our current line render very conveniently. We can do that with just line.bake mesh, passing in this new mesh that we created. If your line render is not centered around the origin, you may pass true for the second argument here. Finally, after we have this mesh, we need to make it be the shared mesh for our mesh collider. So we'll just do collider.sharedmesh equals mesh. And that's all that we need to do here. You could of course also add, if you have a physics material you want to add, or if you want to manipulate the mesh in some kind of way after you've baked it from the line render because maybe you want it to be thicker than the line is exactly, or make it easier to hit the line, you can do that as well by inflating the mesh by some amount. And then just to show the simplification again, we'll add a new button to the on GUI, and we can do that with simply line.simplify and passing in a tolerance. You can define that on the line render smoother if you want. For now, I'm just gonna hard code it to be 0.1. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. I am so grateful. For my awesome tier supporters, I have Andrew Bowen, Gerald Anderson, Autumn K, Paul Berry, Matt Parkin, and Ivan. Thank you all for your support. If we hop back to the Unity editor, let's go ahead and increase the smoothing sections to a really large number like 100. That way we can really see how many positions we get and how many are simplified by clicking the simplify button. Let's click play. First I'll smooth the line. We'll see in the positions that that gives me 300 different line render positions. While this does seem like a really smooth line, let's go ahead and click simplify mesh. With a 0.1 tolerance, we'll see that that drops me down to 17 positions only. Of course, it is more jagged, so you can play with the tolerance to make it so it stays kind of smoother. If we finally click Generate Collider, we'll see a new mesh collider gets added. Perfect. And that's it. Really that simple to add a collider to your line renderer. I know this video was a little bit different format than I normally do, so if you have any feedback about that, let me know in the comments below. And of course, you already know, like and subscribe if you're getting value out of these videos. New videos every tutorial Tuesday, and I'll see you next week.